I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be putting in here. I might just put the whole thing, honestly. There's not much left in here. I'll just make it fit. Lofani Tani. So right now, headed to the store, I have corned beef and coconut milk, salt and pepper, and I have uh, tin foil, which you could use banana leaves if you have banana leaves to wrap it, but I don't have banana leaves um, at my disposal at the current moment. Also, I do not have taro leaves and don't know where to find them in Eugene, Oregon. The Asian store might have them, but it's really far off campus, so I'm gonna go to the nearest store and find these things. I'm gonna need tomatoes and onions, and then I'm gonna start cooking. Is that open? Oh, yeah, okay, thank you. y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Lofani Tani and today I am making Lupulu college edition so I say college edition because obviously I'm not in the same place environment or space as Thonga or in like a bigger city and so college edition means I'm on campus these are the resources that I have and this is how I'm gonna cook it um, so college edition my style don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on the video, and show some love. You can feel free to share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. So let's get on to the video. I'm going to be swapping out a few of the normal ingredients for lupulu that are usually used, including the lu, which is the taro leaves, and also the banana leaves that like holds it together and like helps it cook. Holds it. So some of the things that you're gonna need if you want to make the same meal, um, the same lupulu that I'm currently making, you're gonna need spinach, coconut milk, tomato, one tomato, uh, one onion, corned beef, as well as tin foil, an oven to cook in, um, some kitchen utensils, as well as some time. Cause this, I mean, it takes a little bit of time. It's not fast food. There's a bunch of different ways to make lupulu and everybody probably has their own way of making it. This is just my current way of making it because of things I have access to. The last time I made it, I had the actual taro leaves, the lu, um, but this time I do not have that today. This time I do not have that, so I'm gonna see what substituting taro leaves with spinach tastes like, if I like it. I'm really interested to see what this turns out to be and how it tastes and if I want to finish it or even eat it, I'm gonna finish it. I hope it's good. I don't know what's gonna, I have a feeling like I'm it's not gonna taste the same definitely and it's probably, I'm probably not gonna like it as much, but we'll just see if, we'll see what it tastes like. I went to the Market of Choice, Market of Expensive. It's the closest store to campus that I was able to get food and I got a few things, an onion, but a tomato. So I did have already, I had coconut milk as well as corned beef already in my room. But instead of taro leaves, I got spinach. Spinach. These are gonna be our taro leaves for today. Just imagine these came from like a taro plant, okay? And instead of banana leaves, I got Reynolds wrap. <laughs> so instead of banana leaves, which you wrap the food in, I got, um, What is this called? What is this called? Aluminum foil. The words lu and pulu mean lu is like taro leaves, pulu is like cow slash beef um, together. Lu pulu. And I guess you wouldn't really call it lu pulu in this version because lu is the taro leaves and pulu is like the beef slash cow, like the meat. And so I guess you'd call it spinach pulu. Spinach pulu. <laughs> I'm still gonna call it lupulu because that's the idea. So I'm hungry, I'm about to get started. Uh, spinach pulu.
gonna have to use a hammer. Anything else from this dish, I'm gonna like the corn beef. So, this is the onions and tomatoes that I cut up. That might not have looked good to you, but that looked good to me. Okay. So, now I'm gonna put the coconut milk in there. It's better to have coconut cream, but what I got right now is coconut milk. I'm just gonna cut this up a little bit and then I'm gonna mix it. shop for this and then I kept running into people um out and about so okay. okay so that should be enough I'm gonna now we got this and I'm going to now put this into the taro leaves, the spinach, and I'm gonna wrap it up with the oil. And the oven's supposed to be on 350. Um, or it's done now. In this pan. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be putting in here. I might just put the whole thing, honestly. There's not much left in here. I'll just make it thick. I can tell the difference between the coconut milk and like, ooh. This smells pretty good. I don't know how it looks to y'all, but to me this looks delicious. And I'm getting more hope and excited to try this. I think I might add some more leaves just to, cause I know that the spinach is gonna go down some. Maybe a lot. Add some more spinach on the side. And then... Yeah. This is not the final product, but this is pre-cooking. So I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about like 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, so that's kind of what the final product pre-cooking. It's got spinach, 
coconut milk, corned beef, onions, tomatoes. I didn't put salt or pepper in there yet. I don't think I need to. for about an hour, 40, 40 minutes to an hour. And it's good enough. I'm really hungry, so I'm just gonna eat it. So the lupulu is done now. I took it out of the oven. It was in there for like an hour and I also turned up the temperature. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. Oh, I'm spilling. There's a lot of corned beef in here. The spinach really went down, so there's just like a lot of corned beef. Spinach on the top, and there's also spinach on the bottom. I mean, it looks good to me. I don't know if it would look good to you, but. I'm about to try this, I hope it's good. And I also made some onions, so I'm gonna put those in there. <laughs> Mix it up. It's actually pretty good. It's actually really good. I'm glad that this turned out. taste the onions, you can taste the tomato. The spinach, it does taste different from taro, but at the same time, it's not like, it still tastes like leaf, which is like a good taste. I don't know how to explain it, but it still tastes good, even though I wasn't able to get taro or like this with banana leaves or this is good. How much depends. coconut I put the whole thing, I think I was supposed to put like less than the whole thing, like a half a can. Onion, tomato, uh, spinach, coconut milk, corned beef. Put like tomato potatoes in it? Mm hmm Or do people put potatoes in it? Or is it usually just this stuff? I've never seen someone put potatoes in it before, but you can. But this is basically keto, sort of. I mean, it's kind of keto. I would say the coconut milk probably has like the most carbs within it or the spinach, but. You wanna try some? Sure. My friend Neiman is back here and he's gonna try some. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the plate for him and see what he thinks about it. See if he likes it. I gave you a little because I wasn't sure how much you. But oh, do you want an onion for it? But Neiman's also helping me film this, so thank you, Neiman. Compared to what I thought that this was gonna taste like, it tastes a lot better. It tastes so much better than I thought. I should have probably put more spinach in there, but in the first place I did put a lot, but it went down a lot, so next time I'll just add the whole bag of spinach. <laughs> it does not look like cat food. Neiman thinks it looks like cat food. <laughs> it do not look like cat food. Stop. Okay, well when you put it like, <laughs> anyway. It does taste good though. <laughs> you just have it like, mm. and then like, with biscuits and gravy or something. Like, right. With the onion, caramelized onion, it's so much deliciouser. So much better, tastes so much more delicious. More of a cat food. Yeah, more, it's more delicious. I got a collar, yeah. Not the best I've tasted, but not the worst as well. I'm enjoying it. I don't know if I get this one. Mm. Makes me a little nervous. But it's well good. Let's taste it. Do you want some more? Sure. You want an onion in there? You're like, no. There's gonna be onion in there. I mean, yeah, there's onions in it. But like the caramelized onion? 
So Neiman likes this even though it tastes like cat food. It looks, <laughs> it looks like quote unquote cat food. One day I'll cook this like with taro leaves and other stuff. <laughs> So my overall feels about this dish is like the college edition of bupu that I just made. I like it a lot, it's not bad. It's definitely a dish that I can make easily and um, at school while I'm studying at school and quarantining. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. Love your support. Uh, make sure to press the like button down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below how you make lupulu. Um, any recipes or things that you would add to this that I did not add or what you thought about the video. Um, thank you again for tuning in and bye. Don't say. Wait. Mr. Nick? Is this your only fun? What? Huh? I thought you had a red. Do you want some more, by the way? Okay. Oh, okay. So I ate the whole entire um, pan. Oh, I felt really full. Oh. I can't believe I ate the whole thing, though. Like, I mean, I believe it, but I don't remember eating the whole thing. <laughs> okay, right. Hold the cup up. Down, down, right there. And I usually have to like pound it on the ground. I've used a hammer before and I've thrown it off of things. And I usually like will crack it open. Lofani Tani.